wonder if you made the right choices last time. <laughs> Let's see what you'll do today. Yeah, I don't think I... Uh... Remember, you decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die. So oh, I know it. Be careful. She looks like she wants to say something else. But, uh... Wait! Uh, are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. Yeah, I'm not gonna quit now. I don't know what, the, what their problem is. As you wish. Just walk into his house. Respawn as usual. I was worried about you, Lieutenant. I came by to see if you're all right. I needed to see you, Lieutenant. In spite of all of our differences, I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past. But you can learn to live again. For yourself. And for Cole. While there, I believed in you, Connor. Thought you might restore my faith in the world. But you just showed me that androids are our creation. Creation in our own image. Selfish, ruthless, and brutal. You opened my eyes, Connor. Made me realize it's hopeless. Hank, I... Now leave me alone. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. Get out of here! Hey, I tried to make nice. I had a job to do, okay? Can't move. Marcus gave his life for our people. He showed us that we can choose our own destiny. But he is not here to guide us anymore. Now it is up to us to finish what he started. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are in camps right now, being destroyed. The time has come for us to make a choice. One that may decide the future of our people. They wanted a war, they'll get it. We are going to fight for our freedom. 
and we will win or we will die for you. All we need is an angry sex bot. Well, I try to save Hank, but, uh, you know, he's been busting my balls since the beginning, so. Oh, well. It looks like uh, there's uh, some options over here. I don't know, don't know what this stands for. But Hank quit the force, went to his house. Talk to him. Um, I don't know what the other option would have done. I don't think it would have saved him. I tried to help him. I left and he shot himself. So that is that. There's something to unlock in this direction. Um, that's not the end of it, I don't think. So let's keep going. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President, please. Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant leader has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Please! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapon stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Madam President! Madam President! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. Please! Madam President, public opinion seems to have become increasingly favorable to the Deviants, particularly since they've adopted a peaceful approach. How do you feel about this? Public opinion is one thing, the security of the state is another. These Deviants are dangerous, and my highest priority is to protect the American people. Thank you. That will be all. All right, we're back with Kara. Where are they taking us? I don't know, Alice. Come on, get out! Get a move on! Out! I'm scared. I, I don't want to go. 
There's no choice, Ellis. Next! No, Cora. I, I can't. You just have to go through the gate. There's nothing to be scared of. I'll be right behind you. You first! You really need to do this. Just do it for me. Please. Come on, it's your turn. Activate your skin. Hurry up! Please, Cara, don't... We have to. Strip off, put your clothes in the dumpster. Covered in plastic. Come on, this way. Get a move on. <gasps> you, take this one of a dump. No, no, please, I beg I'll you. I'll do it. Don't leave me. I'll be right back. I guess I could have escaped. Today, November 11th, 2038, is the day the android people rose up against their oppressors. We have been fighting to liberate our fellow androids from the camp since dawn. We won't cease hostilities until our people are free and negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing.
What are we doing here? Okay. Open over this way. So they sent me to snipe north. sent by Cyberlife, I'm on your side. I can shoot the leader of the Deviants and stop the revolution, but you have to let me. Put the gun down, turn around. This is your last warning. I know you. You're Connor, the android from that hostage situation. I knew we'd meet again. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. My mission is too important to let you interfere. I didn't mean to press that button. Stay right there. Separated us. But it's all gonna work out, isn't it? Do you know where Alice is? Alice? The little one? We know, y yes. We think we saw her. Kara, if we can help in any way, just ask. We have to save the little one. these doors. The little girl I was with, have you seen her? No. No, I haven't. You saved my life back there. They would have killed me if it weren't for you. What's behind these doors? Jerry? Jerry? Kara. Jerry, I have to find Alice. Do you know where she is? You stay here. We come back soon. Kara! Alice! Are you okay? Are you hurt? I don't like this place. We have to get out of here. Come on, move along. Wait a minute. Leave her alone! Leave her alone! Ah! Alice! What's behind these doors? Hmm. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that.
Can you go that way? Yeah, yeah, move on. Carol! I thought I'd never see you again. Atlas. Where's Atlas? You, you, and you, over this way. And you! Come on, get a move on! Come on, faster! forward when you hear the signal. You got it? I don't want to tell you a second time. Come on, let's go. Move. What's behind these doors? They just want to check us. They won't do us any harm. They're going to kill us. I know they're going to kill us. Our... Kara! No, Alice, don't move! But I'm scared! I know you're scared, Alice, but you have to trust me. Stay where you are, okay? Whatever happens, don't move! Don't leave me all alone, Kara! I can't! I can't! RA9, have pity on us. RA9, have pity on us. I gotta get over there by Alice. Okay, as soon as that, uh, delusional. We got I can help you. 
help you, Kara. I can attract the guard's attention. Okay. Is she going to or what? Two. No, I Hey, cut that shit out. You hear me? Come on, buddy. I said cut it out. Let's go. Don't move. Fuck, those things are crazy. Ah! Didn't work out. I wasn't expecting that, but uh, it is what it is. Oh man, I'm gonna get so many hate comments. Got him right in the pancreas. I thought I was home free. Life. It doesn't matter anymore. My mission is to neutralize the leader of the Deviants. And I always accomplish my mission. We fought for our dream and we lost. You can't hold my people down forever. One day we'll rise up again and we will win. Go on. Shoot. What are you waiting for? Alright, let's complete the mission. And now, straight over to Detroit for a report on the conflict. Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just confirmed. Fighting has now ceased in Detroit, and the area around the Hart Plaza camp is now under control. We can see soldiers going through the city at this very moment. And they are exterminating the last fleeing deviants. Law and order has finally been restored to the streets of Detroit. There is a general feeling of shock in Detroit after the terrible events of the last few hours. And initial estimates report several hundred troops have been killed. According to our sources, the deviant leader known as North was shot during the fighting. The death of the deviant leader marks the end of the Android Rebellion. The destruction of the androids in the camps can now continue as planned. Nevertheless, it will take some time for Detroit to recover from these events. By creating machines more intelligent than ourselves, we took immense risks with the very future of our civilization. However, the situation is now under control. The total destruction of all androids will soon be complete, and the last remaining deviants will be hunted down and destroyed. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. And who do we have here?
Wow, I guess that was that. Well, it wasn't the goals that I had set in mind, but um, I did want to help Kara um, and that little family get out, but it didn't work out. Everyone else was up for grabs. Uh, I can guarantee you this is not the ending that you've probably seen. Let me turn that down a little bit. But, um, you know, most people, I'm guessing, try to get the very best ending for the androids. But, in my opinion, they are just machines. And you can't have them taking over um, and just spreading like a virus. Uh, that's, that's how you get in trouble. Um, now, they tried to play emotion to get you to side with them. And trying to make it compared to like humans trying to fight a corrupt government. But that's not what's going on. What's going on in real life is, you know, people trying to fight corrupt governments. So that's totally different. And obviously my actions would be different in real life. Um, but that's just not the case here. They're just machines that uh, thought they were something more. And people ain't going to agree because they been played like a fiddle with their emotions and instead of seeing logic they thought I actually got people killed I didn't I got machines killed I got them destroyed so um, you know I did try to help out a couple but that's because they weren't trying to start any trouble but in the end I I guess my choices were wrong and they got taken out too so I thought at the end they were going to show you at the dump and then you could try to bring some back or something and then escape and it just continues on. But that that's not what is happening. So uh, I'm going to stick around until the end of this and see if uh, anything changes. Connor, I'm so glad to see you. The deviant issue has finally been resolved. Now with these unfortunate events behind us, Cyberlife can return to business as usual. Of course, we will have to rebuild our customer's trust, but it's only a matter of time. I have a surprise for you. This is the new RK-900. Faster. Stronger. More resilient. And equipped with the latest technologies. The State Department just ordered 200,000 units. What is going to happen to me? You've become obsolete. You'll be deactivated. You can go now. You still got on her trusted uh, level <laughs> and she still deactivated you. But I was like, rebuild customer list, what? Or trust. I mean, they just basically outlawed androids. What do they have any hope of doing? But then, of course, naturally, the government decided to order 200,000 units of the new model. Typical. 
take things away from ordinary citizens and then keep it for themselves. Typical. So that looks like the end of it. Um, I will just probably let these uh, credits go up and then uh, call it a day. So I'll see you in the next one. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about my terrible decisions. All right?
There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I see. Then I'm going to reset myself so I can forget who I became and stay a machine. Next time you see me, it'll be like the first time. What you waiting for? <laughs> okay, it looks like uh, that's that. Is it she like thinking about it? Get to it. All right, well, that's that. See you next time. Peace.